what's happening guys <clears throat> so just a little well intro i guess to this video I'm gonna do get back into the cold water stuff just been getting a little bit down in the dumps um maybe that's just because of the competition season and stuff this is the first time i haven't had that something to focus on if that makes sense so you know i can't i can't rely on people i suppose to to, let, to help me do that if that makes sense it's up to me so yeah it's been a bit of a strange strange month or so i don't know what it is i don't know it was mum and dad's wedding anniversary so maybe that's kind of triggered something as well so um it's okay to say that i miss mum every day i think you know that's something that um will never go away i guess it's life morning guys so day one day number two we are on day three we are on day four we are on day number five today is number five plus one day six the final day day seven of seven days of cold so first submersion coming wow coming up so elegantly done. Yeah, the feeling when I arrive at the sea before I go for a swim is a little bit of anticipation, a little bit of anxiety because I know going into the water is going to be cold but then I know also going into the water is going to make me feel very happy, very clear usually because it's first thing in the morning so I know what I'm going to do is going to make me feel happy but at the same time there's a little bit of anxiety a little bit of almost dread because it's difficult so anything difficult is always met with resistance so something is difficult in life it is always met with resistance as a natural human emotion so you've got to fight that resistance um, so it's a fight, it's always a fight for me to, to go in the water first thing in the morning it's it's something I need, um, so for me to be okay mentally, um, which then allows me to be okay physically, emotionally, okay in the business, okay in day-to-day -day life, I need to do it. So it's something that I feel that is my main tool coping with the world that we live in. You know, the world we live in is, is a really messed up place. Sometimes it can be amazing as well, but a lot of the time, you know, you get weird and wonderful kind of views and opinions and um, sometimes I get a bit caught up in my own head so I need that time in the water to to really reset I need that every day I need it pretty much daily um, and if I don't you know I feel it like if I haven't been in for a, a few days I really feel it I feel a bit jaded and, and not quite myself so um, that's why it's difficult sometimes when Tom and I have to go away for work, for appearances, um, and I can't get access to the sea or the sunrise or those type of things. I, I feel it. If you're happy and you know it, you're in cold water. If you're happy and you know it, that means you're in cold water. If you're not happy, go in cold water. If you want to be happy, go in the sea. It will make you see how happy you will become. Day two, feeling better. We'll see you for day three. You know, if, if things are really bad in your head and you're going through a really bad time and you're contemplating doing something catastrophic to yourself, is going in cold water more catastrophic than what you're thinking? That's what I ask people and every answer is no. You know, going in a bit of cold water isn't as catastrophic or as, as life damaging. Um, it's not going to be met with the same consequences as what they're planning doing. So if that step or if that first time in cold water can allow you to reset, allow you to be happy, allow you to lose all those worries that you have then surely that's worth going in for for 
all it is is discomfort. All it, all it is is cold. You know, it's not it's not going to kill you. Um, but the, the end of the day, your thoughts can kill you, and that's that's the that's the extreme worrying thing for me. So, if you're in such a dark place and you've tried everything else, you know, I've had a lot of people say I've tried everything. I just can't get out of this rut. My first question is, have you tried? cold water or being out in mother nature, being out, you know, seeing a sunrise, seeing a sunset. And if they haven't, then, you know, they haven't tried everything. So you need to really want and force yourself to fight that resistance in your body and your mind. And, you know, who knows what could happen if you can fight that resistance enough, you could save your life and you can make your life so, so much more happy. And I think that's, for me, the most important thing is if you want to make your life better and make yourself happy and your family happy, then you're willing to try anything. And if you haven't tried cold water therapy, I would highly recommend you do. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you, cold. I mean, my, my first step in, in that would be, you know, for me, I find it very difficult, but I know it's maybe a little less um, intense than going in the sea or in the, in the locks or the rivers. It'd be going for a cold, cold shower in the morning. Um, for me that's really difficult because I can turn the knob and go hot but I would, you know, set yourself 5 seconds initially then 10 seconds, 15, 20, 25 and so on and so forth and that gives you a sense of progression in what you're doing and achievement so if you're improving and you're progressing every day in that cold showers aspect then I think it gives you a sense of achievement and I think if you can do that say if you can just all of a sudden do five minute cold shower you know that is amazing but I mean that is a sense of achievement so if you can do that then that's you setting yourself up that's you challenging yourself that's you fighting or coming head on with that resistance your your mind's putting yourself in you know stopping yourself turning that shower knob to the hot is is quite a hard thing to do so I would say that's a good thing and you know I talk a lot about the sunrise the energy, the energy you get from the sun first thing in the morning is massive, is, is, is absolutely huge. So wake up, make sure you get a sunrise in at least a couple of times a week. Sit outside, have your cup of tea, your coffee, whatever. Sit outside, take the sunrise in and see how much energy that gives you throughout the day. Sit here and say, go lift weights, um, do this, do that. And you know, and that's the best thing ever. And, and it is the best thing ever, but on top of that, talking and being open about how we feel, the battles that we feel, I think that is also very, very important. And that's, that's something that we want to, to be able to do and be able to show people. I might not be the strongest man in the world, but my brother is and my brother's part of me. So I take that with open arms and it makes me exceptionally happy. But not only are we strong men, not only is Tom the strongest man in the world, we're just people at the end of the day and we suffer, we go through things, we feel emotional, we feel happy, we feel pain. And that's okay because that is that is everyone, everyone feels that. So, yeah, just, I guess what this was trying to do was just try and show you the, the different highs and lows of, of what I experienced through the, through the course of seven days, I guess. I hope you guys got something from the video. Um, as always, thank you for the support. Without you, pardon me, without you, none of this would be possible. And I genuinely, genuinely mean that. So, before I get emotional, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and we will catch you in the cold water on another morning. <laughs>